Welcome to Chiro Life, chiropractic health insights for robust optimization. We are going to help you live life in full expression. I don't like cracks. Welcome back to Chiro Life and welcome to chiropractic life. You may never have experienced it. Look, I'm going to come back to these in a moment. Uh, there's a number of reasons people say they don't like going to a chiropractor and the biggest of those is that they don't like cracks. Now, the first thing I want to say is the word crack is not a chiropractic word and it's not something that takes place in a chiropractic office. Now, I want you to think about for a moment about an egg. If you crack an egg, the egg opens up and the yolk and its contents spill out. When you hear a cracking no noise when you fall, and the bone is sticking out of your leg, then there is a break, a discontinuity. So, the word crack is synonymous with breaking something and interrupting the integrity of whatever is being broken. So you can see why a chiropractor doesn't really like the word crack. The noise is actually called a cavitation. I don't know if you can hear this. Okay. So that is when two surfaces are under pressure, are close together, and you separate those two surfaces under pressure, you get a popping noise. Not a cracking noise, but a popping noise. And that is gas rushing into the space where those two surfaces are under pressure. You can do exactly the same thing with a sheet of, two sheets of glass with a film of water between them. If you leave two sheets of glass outside when it rains, and then you separate those two glass sheets, you will hear that cavitation. It sounds like the glass may be breaking, but in fact it doesn't. It's just gas running into that area. And that's exactly the same thing that happens when we adjust the spine or the peripheral joint. So when you hear somebody's, and I can't really do it very well, when you hear somebody pop their knuckles, that's gas. And there is nothing to concern about at all with that. In fact, that is part of the release of the adjustment that produces neurological and spinal change and brings about wonderful healing and therapeutic benefits. Having said that, one, there is no cracking that takes place. Two, some people still don't like that noise. They feel it's uncomfortable or maybe it feels painful for them to experience that. And if they do experience pain, it's usually because there is a dysfunction there that needs to be addressed by an adjustment. Having said that, if they still don't want the manual adjustment that causes that popping noise, there are many, many other ways. Here's just one example here called an activator. This is a double head activator. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the camera, hopefully you will. You can see it makes a noise and my finger is popping up and down. So that popping up and down creates a force and that can move the adjust, uh, move the vertebra and create the adjustment. Now, this is... It doesn't hurt. If I can do that on my face, if I can do that on my hand and my body, and we use this on children, it is not going to hurt. It's not going to produce any discomfort. So you can still get the chiropractic care that is going to enhance your health and well-being, remove interference to your spine and nervous system, so you can express life, but you don't have to get the popping noise if you don't like. You can get blocking done, which is another gentle form of chiropractic. You can put these underneath your pelvis, and lie on those while it slowly and gently allows the tension of the spine, the nervous system, and the supportive tissues around the body, such as the muscles and ligaments, to unwind and unfurl, removing interference to that spine and nervous system, and again, expressing health. The couches of chiropractors raise up and drop down, called drop pieces. And then we have other light touch methods as well. There are so many, many different ways that a chiropractor can use if you do not want to experience the manual adjustment and the popping that goes with that. I wanted to share that with you because it's something that's so important that you don't limit your opportunity to experience chiropractic care because you have a perception that there is only one way for you to experience chiropractic care, which is not the case. And also some people say, well, I don't want to go to a chiropractor because it hurts. Well, chiropractic doesn't hurt. Chiropractic can hurt if a tissue hurts. If you come in after having um, shoulder charge to war and it's bruised and sore and inflamed and I touch your shoulder, just touching it will hurt. But if to adjust the shoulder, it's going to hurt if it's bruised as well. And there's no difference between touching it and moving it if it's bruised and inflamed or sore, it will hurt, but it's not the adjustment 
that hurts. The adjustment should and invariably does feel good unless there is tissue irritation, tissue inflammation or tissue damage. And if that's the case, you need an adjustment and we need to find a way that you can receive that adjustment that isn't going to cause you discomfort, pain or any you know, reason for you not to return and not to experience the benefits and, and, and wonderful, you know, great things that chiropractic can do for you, for your health and your quality of life. So hopefully I've dispelled those myths. Hopefully you're excited now to receive the chiropractic adjustment that suits you, your style, your preference, so that you can get the health you deserve. I trust you enjoyed this video, got some great insights, and it can help you move in the direction of better health and well-being. And as always, if you need anything, just reach out. We're here for you at Provolution Health. Email us at info at provolutionhealth.com.au or call us on 02 6299 2660. I wish you Cairo Life.